Listen. Small strips on it's gonna be uh, steel walls. We're gonna do a rusting technique that's gonna be not the chemical rust but the real rust. We're stapling it on the wall with the air gun, and we have Jacob on the cut saw. All right, put the rivets on, and we got Jacob on the air gun. Working away, marking them, got all the strips done, and then we're going to spray paint afterwards. <laughs> definitely orange. Uh, well, I guess it's safe to say that we got it painted orange. <laughs> Uh, right now I'm using a brown wash and there's the walls before and here's the walls after it's giving it a nice uh, rusty look uh, I'll show you how I did it uh, I'm gonna do all the walls and I'll show you how I did one wall it's gonna look pretty good I mean all the shades of it are all the same but with the uh, the lighting, it's not that, you can't really tell. But I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray the, the brown wash all in the corners real thick. Oh shit, hope I don't, shit, don't get all over my phone. <laughs> okay, here we go. I had, I had to turn the fan off. So I'm gonna get it real thick. And it's really important that you get a good sprayer you know, you try to get the dollar sprayer, well, that shit don't, that shit don't work, looks like shit. You know, buy a nice uh, water bottle, but get the corners real good. Okay, and then what I do is just go across it like this. And this is a dark, like a pretty dark brown wash. Tell you what, my hands are pretty tired. My hands are pretty tired from spraying, so okay, so then it looks like this here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my rag and I'm gonna start patting. Start patting it out. And I'm not I'm not gonna pat around and I'm not gonna pat in these corners. I'm just patting Just patting right in the middle And giving this this look I mean it doesn't looks kind of crazy right now, but Just trying to get the streaks out All right, now if we step back, this is what we got. Okay, so now you got your base coat of that all in. Okay, and what, what I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna keep putting the darker around the edges just to give it a nice dark. You know, I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm gonna do a little at a time because What's going to happen is it's going to run and the color's not going to stick. So I'm just going to keep going down. And then I'm going to come across on the top real lightly. And I'm running out of paint. Damn it. And I'm going to get real dark at the top. Okay, I got to get some more paint. And see what I'm going to do is uh 
If you get that, you got to see how I'm just darkening it up in the corners and uh, getting it real dark at the top. You know, I'm not no fucking pro hunter. I'm just just a home hunter like everybody else and just experimenting on shit and getting it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these corners real dark and then I'm going to let it drip down. Uh, I don't know if you can see it dripping down. And then... And then I'll... Uh, as soon as it starts dripping down and you get these real long drips, I mean, it's really hard to tell when you're looking at it through a camera, but I'll, I'll like pat, I'll pat the hard drips out just so it doesn't look like I sprayed it, and it just kind of, you know, I'll slowly pat the drips out, and uh, it still gives it the drip effect, but it doesn't look like uh, I did it on purpose. I mean, it's hard to tell, but if you look at these other walls, if you look at these walls, you can tell. What I'm doing is I got my black here, and I'm going to, you could say kind of dry brushing, and I'm going to, you know, get the black in there, okay, and then also, I'm going to get black in the seams too. You know, and, and that I think that's going to give it like a lot of definition. You know, just what's left in my brush here. Okay, and then, uh, then I'm going to take my rag, you know, just to, uh, you know, just kind of, just so it ain't like so defined and smear it out a little bit. And, uh... I'll just keep doing this until I get all of it done and uh, you know get like get in the cracks and stuff and you know it's gonna make it really give it a lot of definition and pop out and and like I said it's like I could sit here all day detailing uh, what you don't want is like this part right here to be like so bright so you want to brush up and get a little dark a little darker in it and that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, got it all done. Uh, I'm getting ready to take it all down right now. Um, hope this helps somebody out if they want to do it. That's uh, really easy. A little time. To this is what a crazy, insane home haunter shop looks like. Paint, paints up the galore. Paint, 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 paint. Spray foam. Tools. Wood, wood, wood. More wood. Halloween props up the ass. This is what, <laughs> this is what craziness looks. This is what obsession looks like. In case anybody wants to know. Ah, uh, yes. They're only going to make it this one year, folks. And I think it won't make it through the wash again. Listen. Listen.